How's it going Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. We've got a blender. We've got Jameson's. And we've got cream. We're making Baileys. Welcome to Stiller everyone, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if that's what you're into guys, or if you're just into craft spirits or messing around with spirits, sign up now, hit subscribe down below and you won't miss anything. All right team, we did Amaretto last week and that went down really well. I enjoyed making it. I, uh, I've been biased against sweet, easy to drink, sugary drinks and I want to revisit them. And top of the list, especially compared to some of my history is Bailey's. So today we're going to make the standard internet recipe, you know, homemade Bailey's with Jameson. Then we're going to taste it, assess it, maybe tweak it a little bit or maybe not, and make it with some homemade spirits. Once we are done with all of that, I'm going to taste them all next to each other and invite a couple of other people to taste them as well. And we will see, I don't know. I don't know what we'll see, but we'll see how it went. Cool. Let's get started with the random internet recipe and see what it's like. The first thing you're going to need is one cup of cream. So next we have 14 ounces or 395 grams of sweetened condensed milk. Ah, oh, you piece of... One teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. And honestly, this one's a little bit weird to me, but one teaspoon of almond extract. And now we want to mix this up relatively gently so we don't whip the cream. Cool, but it's in a blender, so. Let's have a taste. That's actually pretty good. I'm not so sure about the almond extract, and it is very sweet, but Bailey's is very sweet. But we did forget one super important ingredient. Two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. I wonder how much the uh, the chocolate syrup changed it, actually. Oh God, that's sweet. That is so sweet, but the flavor is better. I will admit, yeah, the chocolate syrup definitely, definitely does something for it. And interestingly enough, the almond essence has disappeared. And the most offensive flavor to me is the um, the instant coffee. No bueno. All right, so let's bottle this off. Free up the blender. Dear Lord, this is going to take forever. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so thick. And I'll see if I can have another crack at this. Make it a little different. All right, so I think the amount of booze to everything else is fairly well balanced. I... I'm always happy to go a little bit boozier on these sorts of things. Uh, I think the dairy is good. What I am not happy about is the instant coffee, and I am also not happy just about the overall sweetness. It's, it's too much for me, but that might just be me. So I'm gonna make something that I like to drink. That's what this craft is all about, in my opinion. Let's have at it. One cup of cream. Next up, we're going to halve the amount of sweetened condensed milk. Now, I'm probably going to end up using a little bit more of this, but I want that to be my starting point. I'm going to go from there. And I'm actually going to bump up the chocolate just a little bit as well. All right, next we have the booze. Now, now because I'm, you know, home distilling here in New Zealand where it's perfectly legal, uh, I obviously can't make. Irish whiskey because I'm not in Ireland. I do have a couple of Irish sort of style things going on, none of which are anything like this. I have a sneaky suspicion that switching things out isn't going to make a huge deal <laughs> in this amount of other stuff, but if I'm going to switch it out I may as well switch it out for something with a bit more flavour is my thinking. And I'm actually going to go to a UJSSM. Now I'm going to pick the specific jar of aging UJSSM because it is heading way down the uh, the dark cocoa coffee chocolate sort of flavors coming from the wood and I think that's going to marry up with this quite nicely so let me just go and measure that out proof it down I may have got a little heavy-handed proofing that down and measuring it out god that's smelling good 
feels like such a waste to put it in this. But anyway, for science, I guess. Uh, I'm, a, I'm honestly, guys, I'm closer to, I'm closer to, to two cups now. It's more like one and two thirds cups and it's closer to 45%. There is no way I am putting instant coffee in this. Uh, so I am going to use straight espresso. Now, I'm gonna use half of this. I'm not sure what this is gonna to do to it. So I'm gonna use, gonna go with half a shot. And once again, we can add a little bit more in. Two tablespoons of chocolate syrup went into the last one. I am going to be a little heavy handed this time around. We've lost a lot of sugar from the condensed syrup, so I'm gonna do two and a half. I feel like we can make some of that sugar back up here for a little extra flavor. In saying that, I don't want this to turn into a chocolate drink. That's not what it's about. One teaspoon vanilla extract. I'm actually gonna go one and a half once again to make up for perceived sweetness from the condensed milk. It pains me to say this, but I feel like that almond essence actually added to the last one. So once again, I'm going to, I'm going to drop this back. I'm going to go with half now and go with, we'll wait and see. <laughs> All right, let's blitz this and taste it, team. Extra booze, the higher proof booze, the more chocolatey, flavorful booze, the real coffee and the extra coffee syrup, uh, chocolate syrup, have all indeed stacked and I've now got something that is, is, is I'll be honest guys it's kind of pushing out of Bailey's territory and it's starting to taste a little bit too coffee-ish actually is the thing that's coming through now funnily enough I kind of feel like this is the generic flavor that kind of ties it all together so I'm actually going to bump that up a little and go back to the full tablespoon that was in the original recipe that is so weird to me but it it actually kind of works <laughs> somehow. I am going to add about another 100 grams. So all up, I guess we're at about 10 ounces, somewhere around there. But I guess what I'm getting at here, team, is that honestly, I feel like you can hold a fair bit of this back and just add it, you know, add it, mix, add, mix, add, mix, until you kind of hit what works for you, rather than just whacking a whole lot of the stuff in at the beginning. And I'm actually going to add, just to um, thin it all out, another quarter cup of cream. Yeah, I think that's where we should be. I think that's where we should be. It needs a little bit more creaminess, but I think I'm actually going to get that from adding a little bit more vanilla. So I'm just going to do another half of this. I find a lot of time in desserts and things like that that the cream flavor is really a mix of cream and vanilla when you when you really think about it. So there we go, guys. All right, I mm, God, there's Bailey's everywhere. Bailey's. I'm going to call it quits there. I don't want to mess with this too much. Yum. Uh, but what I do want to do is come back tomorrow night and get a couple of other people to taste this and see what they think. All right, guys. This is Matt. He's actually been helping me out with a few things around the shed. If we get it done in time I can we can drop some teasers into the video maybe maybe but it'll be good for you guys later on anyway so Matt fancies himself a bit of a hot shot taster this is this is not the case <laughs> he I is don't. he's actually a BJCP judge which means he is kind of a hot shot uh, he's also a really kick-ass brewer he probably he's gonna act all shy now aren't you yeah normally he's um normally he's full of himself <laughs> but not on camera apparently I dabble from time to time no he, he actually is a really legitimate legitimately good brewer i'm gonna put you on the spot and say you're an award-winning brewer too i have won an award an award or five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um anyway so that's that's not what we're talking about guys but i do want to rope this guy in and uh, make some videos later on around some of the the crossover processes between brewing and distilling i think that could be really fun <laughs> And he's got a really sweet homebrewing kit that we can go and get some get some stainless steel porn. With. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put Matt on the spot one more time. He doesn't have Instagram yet, yet, but we've been talking about this, and he has to have it before this video goes live. So he's got two days to get his shit together and get some stuff live. Yeah. So you'll find me at DG Brewing Co. on Instagram. 
some way. We will. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Maybe. Yeah, if yeah, there's yeah, time. Anyway, yeah. guys, that's not what we're here for. What we are here for is for Matt to taste this. Uh, you guys know what it is. Matt has a rough idea that it's something kind of like Bailey's. The floor is yours, sir. So much pressure. Yeah, he's moved it away from me as well. <laughs> so I, I have tasted all of these things, guys. I have not tasted them together. So when Matt's done, I'm going to sneak a sneaky taste out of the glass too, because I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what they're like next to each other. Is it kind of weird nosing milk? Yeah. Like dairy products? It's, 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 it's caramel milk. Yeah, slight disclaimer for Matt, guys. He is recovering from the plague and can't really smell right now. This is just water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's viscous. Are these, are they all different? He thinks we're... Playing tricks on them, guys. Well, I would play tricks on yeah, them. Yeah, no, yeah, I should have, shouldn't I? That one was fermented with my nut germs. Yeah, yeah. but I've tried that before, and it's, yeah. it's not, <laughs> my it's, nut it's, germs. It's not the same thing. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not messing with you, dude. They are they are three different things. This one here has more booze on the nose. Yeah, on the nose and boozier on the nose, and it's really hard because it's very thick. It, it's weird. It, isn't it, it is just the yeah. nose. It is just the nose. More than this but a lot more than this i mean they're all really good i really like all three of them they're kind of yum eh mm. like dangerously yum how much do i get to take home from from this it's, it's sort unfortunately of... i'm not allowed to give you anything oh. the new zealand new zealand rules mm. don't even allow me to give you some unfortunately I mean, I, I can see what one is. Yeah, and, we, and, the, 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 we, yeah, we talked about blindfolding him, and as soon as I put it in the glasses, I knew this was going to happen because this is looking like eggnog over here. It's just a totally different consistency. Yeah. Um, so I think you know which one's the commercial. Yeah. Example. I mean, you, I could be wrong, and you could be just <laughs> leading up to an amazing just. Uh, yeah. Ah, just... that's mama. <laughs> There's no commercial one yeah. in here. That'd be a good one. <laughs> this one smells cleaner and cleaner as in the, the booze throws it off for me a little bit. It's 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 an unwanted booze level. I, I, I fear it's interesting. Whereas this, it, it, whether I don't know if they're the same or um, I mean in, in beer it would be you know too much fusel alcohol which mm. you know, too hot fermentation or yeah it's, it's smelling hot. Interesting. But then again, to me, all spirits smell hot because they're not beer. I'm used to. Tasting five percent or ten yeah. percent, not <laughs> twenty or forty. Yeah, um, so it's not necessarily a flaw. He even talks like a judge, eh? Yeah, flaw. Yeah. Well, you've set me up. You've talked about this judge. I might have to use some flash <laughs> words, flaw and photosynthesis, and that would have been a smart thing to do. I was going to ask Matt to try and pick out the commercial example. We I can... would have picked it out. <laughs> we can tell very quickly, and my guess is that this stuff has to be. UHT treated or something to go in a bottle and sit mm. at 35 Three degrees months. on a shelf for four years before it gets purchased. Mm. And obviously this is not overly homogenized either, so I think that's part of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cat's out of the bag with that one. The other thing I was going to ask you is sweetness levels yeah, right. between the three. What order would you put them in for sweetness? That one's almost, I want to say almost bitter. It's the alcohol though. It's definitely the alcohol is sharper and that's what's taking away from any sweetness, even if they were the same. It feels less sweet. So that is sweeter than this. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it is. I think it's the alcohol taking it away, making it... I'm the, with you. So the, the perceived sweetness is Right, right, is right. right. Perceived sweetness dropped, same as carbonation or... And that's got a similar feel to this, where it's a bit... I, I want to keep going back to bitterness because that's... I, I, that's the thing like, that takes know. the cloying sweetness away. Yeah, in the real world, I right? guess it's alcohol that takes it away, and this doesn't. It doesn't have perceivable, like, outstanding alcohol yes, presence right. in it. I guess it's smoother alcohol. It's got rounded edges. I don't know. Whereas that one's sharper. This one is by far the sweetest tasting. So unfortunately, I actually haven't done the math on this yet to figure out what ABV these are. But I can tell you that this one was made with more booze and the booze was 50% alcohol. This is 40% alcohol. So th this is definitely a higher ABV. That means I won. Yeah, fist bump, nice. There is also, it's sweetened with condensed milk. 
And there's literally mm -hmm. half as much condensed milk in, in that as there is in this. Oh, right. Okay. So yeah, so it is a lot. It's both. Yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to try making the same sweetness, but with different ABVs and seeing how that played with the sweetness. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to say that because you're the one who cuts it up. All right, so that that is the raw spirit that went into it. Have a hoon on that, Matt. And as you guys know, the reason I chose that is because it has, A, it's boozier. Uh, you guys know what I like. I like it boozier. I like it bigger. I would prefer to get more alcohol in something like this, but that's just me. It's like totally a preference thing, whatever you're into. And because it's kind of got the chocolate coffee craziness going on compared to, to what a, um, compared to what a Jameson yeah, right. has to offer so that was kind of a conscious decision on my point of view from my point of view but i think coffee and smell that oh my god it's coffee <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah a little. but i can see it look trying to be it look for the same thing in there yeah see this is milky now now yeah. i am um, this so this is like yeah this, this is this, this is, is fake Granulated coffee, right? That's real, like espresso, right. a shot of espresso. And I think, I think that I, I don't know what it is, but there's something similar about espresso and alcohol. And I think the mm. two kind of play off each other and bump each other up a little. All right, dude. Now I'm going to put you on the spot. Preference. What order would you put them in? Which would you most like to drink? I might have to try them all again. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> And 100% throw me under the bus. Don't feel like, don't be nice. No. no, no, no. <laughs> I think he just wants to drink it. Well, <laughs> well, I do really want to throw you under the bus. Um, oh, here we go. But I actually like this one the best. Uh-oh. Um, I thought you were going to say the opposite after your comments about alcohol. I, I mean, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, I right. like the booze. Okay, 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 okay. I think it makes it more drinkable, the fact it's... Not as sweet, not as cloying, yeah, right. not as, um, and everyone likes a bit of booze as well. It's, it's, it, it's, yeah, if it's you're drinking, why, it's why you're drinking boozier mm, spirits yeah. is because you like the taste of alcohol in your, you know, it's a very it's, fair it's point. got a characteristic. Yeah. And I've always had this about Bailey's. I don't know, I've never really felt like, I've always felt like sometimes it's a little bit better with a little bit of milk, like, or I don't, it's something about it that's a bit strong, it's a bit. Almost, I don't want to say harsh because it's very well rounded and well made drink. So in the back of your throat, it sort of gets you lacking something that I, that I actually prefer in this. It makes this more drinkable than that. It's almost like a weird banana ester type thing to me. It's so much different than tasting beer. <laughs> <laughs> As well, that it's so much thicker. It's not yeah, easy just yeah, to swish yeah, around yeah. your mouth or yeah, even to, yeah. to slosh around the glass. It just sort of... It's a totally, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> a totally different thing, eh? I think with this, I mean, we know it right, guys. The, this kind of thing is setting the bar low. It's much easier to go up against commercial stuff with this sort of thing compared to like an aged brown spirit. Yeah. Yeah, totally different things. This is actually interesting for me, guys, because... I haven't tasted these since I did it next to each other, and there's actually less of a difference between these than I thought there was uh, when I did the, the recording last night. And there's a whole lot less of a difference between this, and especially I think, I think this one's probably closer. This one yeah. gets a bit sweet and yeah. sticky, eh? These are the closest. All right, I think, I think guys, that's, uh, that's close enough to me that I wouldn't call it a clone by any measure, especially when you can see it. Uh, but... I think we're in a really good range there. So thanks, Matt. Thank you. You're gonna shake my hand? He's gonna leave me hanging. Well, I just was gonna grab another. <laughs> <laughs> so a huge thank you to Matt for that. We totally put him on the spot. This is not his thing. <laughs> He's a beer guy, 100% a beer guy. But that's kind of cool. Bailey's isn't a, a serious spirit in my box. So that's it's nice to have someone like that. He is 100%, I wasn't joking about him being a extremely knowledgeable and talented brewer. I can vouch for that. So I'm gonna try and rope him in for some stuff in the future around basically the, the alchemy of barley, malted barley, and turning it into something delicious. And I think that can cross over for us heaps as well. Now we did talk between ourselves a whole lot after the camera went off about what that weird thing in Bailey's is that we weren't quite sure. 
I think I've ruined Bailey's for myself in that discussion. We landed on soapy metallic or metallic soapy. And now that I know it's there, it's kind of weird. I Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's there. It's still there. It's kind of a weird soapy metallic and that banana thing I talked about earlier on. Um, I would rather drink this, hands down, 100%. In my opinion, this is just better. Other than the appearance. That's not so crash hot. <laughs> anyway guys, a huge, huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. There's no way, absolutely no way that I get to do these things without the Patreons. If you're not sure what Patreon's all about or you're considering signing up, jump over to the Patreon link. There's a link in the description down below. You can have a look at the different tiers and you can select a way to directly contribute to the channel if you so wish. If not, don't worry, these videos always free. That's what YouTube's all about. Don't stress about it. All right, guys, I've had an absolute blast. This has been a long video, but I kind of wanted to just play with this one and, uh, and see if you guys liked a more loose, chill, relaxed sort of discussion about spirits, what we're all here to enjoy and share. So cheers, guys. I'll catch you next time. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.